How's it going guys? It's Thomas on Planet Tech and you're watching every LEGO Star Wars mock at Brickworld Chicago 2022. There were tons of great Star Wars mocks on display and I've culminated them to one handy video. So if you enjoy it, subscribe and like the video, it would be hugely appreciated. As you can imagine, it would be incredibly difficult to find the social pages for every single Star Wars builder at the convention. So I've tried to get the cards in shot as possible to credit the builders. So go check them out where you can on their social pages. There are loads of mocks to get through, so I won't drag this intro out any further. Grab a snack, sit back and chill as we take a look at these awesome displays. Okay, so over here we have a Lego Danny Bob's mock and display from Chicago. And uh, this is really, really cool. I wish I got some shots of this actually last night when it was all lit up. Because uh, Danny's added lights to a lot of these as well. You've got the Rogue One hallway scene yeah. there. <laughs> You've got some rebels hiding in there. That's really, really cool. We've got Leia. We've got C-3PO and R2 in there as well. We got that scene from the Lego Star Wars game with the, the stormtroopers in the in the hot tub. That's cool. And then up here, we've got that Mandalorian scene with the dark troopers. That's really really sick. Uh, we got a custom BD1 as well. That looks awesome. We got a uh, a book of Boba Fett mark. This is sweet. I like this. I haven't seen anyone depict this scene. Um, so that's really really cool. And then here we got Cal's um, display as well. We got Mustafar here. Most of our outpost looks really, really nice with all those trans orange pieces. This Outland TIE Fighter is so, so sick with the folding wings from the Mandalorian. I really, really like this. These announcements are ruining my videos. Okay, we've got a couple of uh, UCS style ships here. First up, we've got the Outland TIE Fighter. And this is by David Strenzler. I hope I pronounced that right. Um, but this is really really nice. I really like the cockpit and obviously the folding wings are really really cool on that one We got a UCS Sebulba's pod racer. This thing is huge. It's so so sick This is by Andrew Epstein And just look at this the detail the color palette of this one I really really like obviously based off the the actual ship, but 
the, the greebling in there as well is really really sweet that's a really really nice mock and then we got Corey Schaff I think I pronounced that right again I've not butchered it but we've got a resistance transport here the true transport from episode 7 and that just looks super super sick I always think this is just a really weird shaped ship um, but but this is captured really well in Lego I like this a lot and the accents of blue are really really nice as well yeah really really sweet mock here Okay, so here we got Awesome Krennic House, which is such a really cool and unique concept. Uh, so we've got over here, what if Frank Lloyd Wright had lived in a galaxy far, far away and visited Lex Rule, the home planet of Director Krennic from the movie Rogue One? And what if Krennic had commissioned Frank Lloyd Wright to design and build a uh, Asonian style home for him on Lex Rule? Well, this is what it might have looked like. And this is really, really cool. I like this a lot. We've got a little car in there or a speeder, I suppose. And it's all lit up as well. Really, really nice. And then over here, we've got the landing pad for his shuttle. Very, very cool concept. I like this one a lot. Okay, so now I'm over by the Rebel Lug uh, displays and there's tons of cool Star Wars stuff here so I'm just going to get this all in in one, one shot. We've got the garbage compactor up there, Defenders of Coruscant with those blue super battle droids, that's really, really nice. We've got a mobile clone barracks, but that is a work in progress, that's cool. Compound breach. We've got the Senator's Ultimatum up there with Bail Organa. And then we've got another mock up there, that's really, really cool. 
Down here we've got some lightsabers. So we've got Revan's uh, replica lightsaber. Got Obi-Wan's as well. I'm not quite sure who this one is down the bottom here. We've got a little Rebels mock up there with a micro-scale ghost. That's sick. We've got some blasters here, some more Star Wars weapons. Oh, we've got Lola. This is really sweet. From the Obi-Wan show. That's really, really nice. Oh, that is so good. I like that a lot. Got some more blasters coming along down here. And we got... Mando start a fight with some of those really expensive chrome pieces. Very, very nice mark. We've got a Republic gunship here. Oh, and this is a remote control Hellfire droid. This is so cool. Uh, they had this out playing around with it on one of the opening days. I can't remember if I got any footage or not. If I did, then I'll insert it here. If I didn't, that's a shame. I'll try to find some. <laughs> but no, this is, this is really, really fun to watch going around. And then up here, we've got an ATT on Geonosis. Really, really like that one. I like that so much. I think I might build that. I think I've seen that one on Rebrickable. Um, and then the best Star Wars mock of the convention is this absolutely humongous Venator. How cool is this? Very, very well deserved for uh, the best Star Wars mock. This is, it's huge. very very cool and then another the last one here project blackwing very very cool awesome display from rebel log here Okay, now this is a really, really sick LEGO Star Wars mark. It's the Space Station of Doom. And, uh, yeah, we've got loads and loads of different sections, all done part of a collab with a lug. Or in a lug, I should say. But there's so many different doors. We've got, <laughs> we've got a little church going on for Anakin and Padme's wedding. We've got a wrestling arena with the Gungans. A little hot dog stand there from that friend set. <laughs> Got Vader getting a makeover. Got a huge mini kit there, that is so much fun, I love that a lot. <laughs> Got a motorized trash compactor in there as well. Some stormtroopers falling down one of those like energy sharp things. Got a ninja turtle up there as well. Got a climbing wall, little uh, amusement park. I really like this. This is a concept that I'm gonna remember because to use that planet, Death Star, I like that a lot. Um, and I wanna do like a Star Wars themed or like a Legoland theme park. It, project for like years in the future, but yeah, I like that a lot. I definitely remember remembering that one. Got some offices up there as well. Got the minions, got Batman on a little Segway. Bit of an aquarium in there.
got a hot tub in there with, with, <laughs> with Stephanie. Oh dear, Mark's gonna love that one. Another food court area. A crashed X Wing. Got Obi Wan in there. Some more minions. A little Chinatown area. I think that's from the Monkey Kid. Uh, City of Lanterns, I think, but I'm not sure. We've got a little shooting range up here as well, some more minions. A library. Oh no, Playboy Mansion, nice. <laughs> With Palpatine. Some more controls, then we've got the disco room. The nightclub, everyone's here for the music. With the astromech flying across with drinks there. Zerg serving drinks. We've got a Batman Bat Cave. Really, really fun. Homer up there as well. They've covered everything. Build a bear with the Ewoks. <laughs> that one particular one there getting stuffed. <laughs> That's really nice. That looks really cool. That trans green there. Some barracks there as well. Pizza party. Classic space. Incorporated. Another bar. As they come around the corner as well. This thing is huge, man. This is so, so big. More stormtroopers and a lift shaft there. Some Stranger Things stuff. Indiana Jones and a boulder and then we've got the Christmas tree area and not to mention that huge crane up there as well but yeah this thing absolutely massive very very cool space station of doom So over by Bricker Builds, they've got display slash vendor station here, but uh, these are really, really cool. We've got some lightsabers. Um, what you guys might have seen is these helmets and these busts. These are so, so cool. We've got Boba Fett, Vader, some more lightsabers there as well. Phase 2, 501st. We got the 332nd, I think. I think that's the Ahsoka Trooper one. We got Cody. And then these two I haven't seen before is Hunter and Wrecker from Bad Batch. Very, very cool. Nice shape to, to Wrecker's one here. Very, very cool. We've also got Rex over here with his two pistols. I just missed that one. But yeah, caught that when I, uh, when I was walking out. But yeah, really, really sweet.
Next up we have the Battle of Moon list. Now this one's really cool because I've actually been following this build series for quite a while and uh, it's really, really sick to see this in person. Yeah, I've been following this uh, on YouTube, Lego Gavin Productions. Uh, so to see this one in, in person, like I said, is, is really, really fun. And an unusual experience actually for <laughs> considering uh, a lot of the YouTubers that I follow are based in the US. So yeah, like I said, coming over here is, has been sweet to see this. I really want to tackle Moonless one day. Um, but the, the bar has been set quite high with this one. <laughs> the buildings look really, really cool. I like them a lot. It's really, really sick stuff. <laughs> the posing of the minifigures as well. Very nice. And this huge building at the end of it all. Really, really sweet. Yeah, a lot to take in with this mock. Got the battle damage as well down here as well. Really, really sweet. Moonless mock. Okay, so I'm over at Empire Lug now, and as you can imagine, some insane LEGO Star Wars mocks on display here. We've got the Havoc Marauder that won Best Star Wars, minifigure scale, that thing's huge, the lights look sick, love that one a lot. We've got some Republic gunships, ATOT with dropship, or ATT with dropship, shall I say, some speeders there as well. There's, I think there was one of these on sale, these uh, ATAPs on sale at the garage sale yesterday. Um, I don't know if it's this exact one or a slightly different one, but this is really, really cool. I like that one a lot. This Kashyyyk Fallen Order Mog is insane. So you've got the UCS AT80 here. Oh, the, the waterwork looks incredible. The tree though. Look at that tree, that is mad. So, so cool. We've got an Imperial Troop transport there, like this. Some rock work as well, this is insane. One lug favorite over there as well. So, so cool. Got some rebels over there. Got some stormtroopers on the beach, and the Wookiees there. And then a little outpost over there as well. But this, this tree, man. Love that so much. So we got some uh, original LEGO Star Wars game mocks coming up. And uh, these are really, really sweet. We've got the mini kit builds, Dexter's Diner. I've got to be quick because there's uh, people going to be start packing up soon. But yeah, this is really, really sweet. There we go, the original Lego Star Wars video game on PlayStation 2. Got the rich boy Jay Camino up there. That's looking sweet. Got tons of, there's the first mission there. We've got the Jar Jar Mosaic. Some of the classic pod racers. Some more Naboo stuff. Pod racer. Those chrome pieces look so sweet, man. We've got a nomination for best Star Wars for Axidroid as well. There we go. Obi-Wan and Qui-Gon versus Maul. We got Maul cut in half there. The lights on this one look sweet. I think this was a bit of a secret project that uh, Axie was working on. And it is so cool that it's like, you frame it like in a specific way and you got like the, the hearts above there. And that is so, so fun. Love that a lot. Coming around the corner into episode two, we got some of those classic LEGO Star Wars sets. 
Got the dance floor. Got some Geonosis stuff here. Gunship cavalry stuff. So again, some more of those classic LEGO Star Wars sets. Into episode three now. Uh, the Grievous mission. That was always a good one. I enjoyed that one a lot. I love the blue and the dark red on this one against the dark tan. It really, really pops. It looks really, really cool. We've got them disguised clone troopers back there as well. Very, very fun. The Mustafa scene, all this orange. It's very, very sweet. <laughs> we got everyone with the babies. I like that one a lot. And dead Padme. Got custom Django and Boba Fett slave one there. <laughs> Get it just before the figures go. <laughs> Catch some last few shots before they disappear. Yep, <laughs> I left it too late in the day for this. So that's going to do it for this video guys. Let me know your favourite mock down in the comments below and don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. I had a fantastic time at Brickworld Chicago and met a ton of cool people. If you'd like to see more I did vlog a lot of the trip so be on the lookout for that video coming soon. I'll see you in the next one guys. Goodbye.